if you want a taste treat, try a scorpion. These things are absolutely awesome. I'm going to show you just how we made them. Even the neighbor's dog's excited. Hey, it's Chef of Barbecue Plus, and today we're going to smoke up some scorpions. <laughs> yeah, bet you've never eaten a scorpion before. This variety really doesn't live in the desert, but mighty tasty. So watch how we do this. Pretty exciting day for me for a couple of reasons. One, it's always fun to do a new video, try out something a little bit different. And the second one is, right behind me, we've got an offset. Haven't cooked in an offset before, just bought this a couple of weeks ago, cleaned it up, and now we've got some fire rocking on there. Not really your standard scorpion like you would think of. Uh, lives in the desert. What we're using here is we're going to take some jalapenos, wrap them in bacon, and then we're going to add some shrimp into them. So they look like scorpions. Um, they'll have a little bit of a kick to them because of the jalapeno, uh, but definitely not going to sting you. But using a skinning knife. Uh, it was just one I happened to have handy and grabbed it. And uh, this was actually used by my uncles and my dad when they used to own a small town meat market in rural Minnesota. So first thing we're going to do is cut this jalapeno into sections, as you see. And then we're going to cut the insides out. We want to get rid of all those seeds and just make it a nice little cavity in there. And eventually... That's where the shrimp is going to go in. Put it on the smoker with uh, some bacon to render out. And then what we're going to do is add in the shrimp a little bit later. If you do it all at one time, in order to get that bacon to render, we're going to need a lot of heat on there. And it's going to take a while. And in doing that, we would completely destroy those shrimp. Because they don't need nearly that long to be able to cook. These are about, oh, what we say, probably three quarters of an inch rounds here. Make them too much bigger than that and it's going to be kind of hard to eat. So we want these just to be really bite size. So these jalapenos probably a little bit bigger than I would normally buy uh, just because we have to make sure to get the size big enough for a shrimp to go inside. Maybe what you want to do is go by the seafood counter in your store and get those uncooked shrimp first and then based on what those are, select your jalapenos uh, so that they'll be the right size. Of course, I didn't do that. That would be thinking way too far ahead. All right, so we've got all those jalapeno rounds put together. We're gonna use about a half a strip of bacon, I believe, so we'll cut that open. We don't wanna go too tight with the bacon on here because it will shrink up a little bit. And I think I'm gonna use about a half a strip of bacon for each. And I'm securing them with a toothpick. Don't want to wrap it too terrible tight because when these start to render out, that bacon's going to tighten up a little bit around these, and we don't want to we don't want to squish them. Because step one, we're just going to wrap these fellas up. We're going to go all the way around, and we're going to put this toothpick in just to make sure that nothing falls apart. We will be bringing that toothpick back out again, and then reinsert it when we add our shrimp. We are rocking about 300 degrees right now on that offset smoker. So that's good. Cut those approximately in half. This is a labor of love, that's for sure. Nothing's happening fast on this. All right, now that we've got these all ready to go, we're just gonna put them onto the smoker and uh, render out that bacon. We'll also soften up those jalapenos and then we'll add the shrimp onto it. We're just gonna take these fellows and put them right inside. That'll give them some good smoke and heat. We'll check in on them later. I do have a water pan in, and that's going to keep it moist inside of here throughout the cook. We'll add wood as necessary to be able to make sure that we maintain the temperatures here. Started this out with charcoal, now we've got some oak in there. Uh, I think that's going to turn out really, really nicely. So, I'm excited for this. So, temperature is about 350 on this right now. Let's open them up, take a quick look. Yeah. I think we've got some nice smoke on there. Don't know that we're rendering too much yet because they haven't been able to cook that. I am very happy with what those are looking like. So we're gonna pull those off. 
I don't want the bacon to cook anymore. So those are looking pretty good. Smelling wonderful as well. So now we're going to add our shrimp. So delicately going to remove those. Insert a shrimp like so. And then push that back through again. And others. I'm going to go with the larger rounds here. Trying to also go back through so I'm covering both sides of the bacon where they met. That's going to look pretty cool. I think this was just about right for the amount of cook on there. Bacon didn't pull back, so that was good. I'm economizing using the same toothpick. Yay for me. Probably the larger jalapenos versus the smaller. I guess it depends on the size of the shrimp also. You want to kind of match those so that you don't have huge shrimp trying to stuff them into a small jalapeno or vice versa. So we're going to add on a little bit of all-purpose rub. This is a meat church rub. Kind of liberally put that on, making sure we get a lot on the bacon. Not as much on the shrimp, but really kind of get it on those uh, ends there. That'll give it some really nice color as well. Had a few extra. Sorry if I would have had four more shrimp. I could have put these together with those other four, but uh, let's put them on the smoker. Okay, we'll give them some time for that all to render out and we'll be ready to go. All right, we're moving right along with our scorpions and we're gonna pull those fellas off of here. Give them a little bit of sauce and then we're gonna drop them back, drop them right back on to be able to finish them out. So they're looking pretty wonderful already. Going to rotate these fellas around a little bit. Yeah, they definitely have some more time to cook to both render out the bacon as well as to cook up that shrimp. But a little barbecue sauce on there is going to do some wonders. That's going to taste absolutely terrific. So, sauce them up here. Just gonna dab it all over. We probably will turn these one more time for some additional saucing on the other side before they're finished. Can't have too much barbecue sauce, can you? All right, those fellows gonna go back on to finish out their cook. Right, these probed out just where we want it to be, right at 140 degrees, which is done for shrimp. Uh, normally I kind of take a look and make sure that it all looks pink, but when you put all that barbecue sauce on, you can't tell anymore. So let's pull those fellas off and give them a taste test. So there they are. We're going to take them off here. Put them onto a plate so we can get some wonderful photos. Look at that. That is looking pretty wonderful. I think we're going to eat a bunch of these. Now pull that toothpick out and dive right in. They're nice and juicy. Good barbecue sauce on it. Bacon is all the way rendered out.
<laughs> of course, anything with bacon on it's wonderful. Jalapeno, the jalapeno still has a little bit of a crunch to it. The shrimp is wonderful, and the barbecue sauce. Hmm. That is wonderful all the way through. Hmm. Give that a try. Anything bacon wrapped is great. And especially when you can add the kick of the jalapeno, uh, the savory of the barbecue sauce on there, plus the rub smokiness to it shrimp always wonderful in my opinion hey, if you like what we're doing here give me a thumbs up like subscribe to this if you want to see notifications about more videos and make sure you always figure out what you're going to cook in your backyard this weekend and thanks for watching mm -hmm.